Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Take a moment and imagine all the world and all the kinds of life that exist in it. So many different plants, people, and animals are there. And what if I asked you to think of all of them in one place? Like the desert. <laughs> kind of funny to picture that in your mind, isn't it? Or imagine a polar bear sunbathing next to the ocean. Or picture a beach with a fish surfing with his best friend, a macaw, as a palm tree happily sways in the ocean breeze. <laughs> okay, okay. We know this can't be true. But why? It is impossible in nature for these plants and animals to exist in an environment that does not support their needs. Well, let me show you why. All living things, plants and animals, are built for their specific environment, and they thrive within that environment. And that means a polar bear would simply not do well in a desert. Polar bears are built for cold, snowy environments. This means that in the desert, the polar bear would surely die. Think about it. A polar bear would not be able to blend in its surroundings to hunt, as their color would be different from the sand of the desert. And the polar bear would be too warm, as they have too much fur and fat insulation for a desert environment, which means they would be unable to cool themselves off in the sunny desert heat. Not to mention, they would have no idea what to hunt, because everything they eat or their prey exists in their snowy environment and not within the desert. Now, just real quick, what's prey, you might ask? Well, prey is an animal hunted for food. Seals, for example, are a polar bear's prey. No need to convince you more. I think a polar bear must live in the cold, in a snowy environment. That is just the way it's meant to be. Now think about our friend, the fish. Of course, a fish cannot actually surf, but a fish also cannot be out of the water longer than a few seconds because fish need water to breathe. Fish breathe by taking water into their gills and using that water for oxygen. This means a fish would only have a few seconds out of the water before he died. And not only this, but birds are fish's natural predators. Ooh, uh, sorry, bit of help there? A predator is an animal that hunts and eats other animals. And this means that there is no way that a fish would be able to be best friends with a macaw. Surely you wouldn't want to be friends with someone who was going to eat you. Well, a fish would also not be able to eat its prey, as their diet all lives underwater. So, simply put, a fish could not live outside the water, not even for more than a few seconds. That is just the way it's meant to be. Ah, but what about this macaw? No way for a macaw to serve, right? Because a macaw does not belong on a beach at all, in fact. They live deep in the forest, in the treetops, sometimes called the canopy. A macaw's prey exists in the forest among the trees and the bushes. And on top of it all, they need to be able to hide from predators within all of the varieties of plants and animals. And think about the beach now. It's just too open for macaws. They would not be able to escape from an animal that may want to hunt them for dinner. Even their coloring alone would cause everyone on the beach to look at them. Not necessary, really. Deep within the forest, with so many noises and other colors, macaws would go unnoticed, like camouflage. So back to where we started, macaws would not live outside the rainforest. A macaw must live in the canopy of a rainforest. It is just meant to be. Now lastly, let's think of that palm tree at our beach. Now if we uprooted it and moved it to the middle of Antarctica in winter, would it survive? Well, no. Palm trees grow in warm environments and could not survive in the cold weather of Antarctica. There's just no way. Due to the amount of sunlight Antarctica would get in the winter, the palm tree would not be able to make enough food for itself to survive. Oh, and what about water? All plants need water, right? And the only form of water that would be available for our palm tree would be snow and ice, which is too cold for our plants to take it up in their roots. Ah, speaking of roots, how would we even plant our plant in the ground in winter? It'd be too cold. It's kind of silly to picture some plants and animals in a completely different environment because their bodies and habitats are built for them to thrive in a specific place. A palm tree is built for its specific place in a warm environment, like at a beach. A polar bear is built for a cold climate. 
A macaw is built for the rainforest and a fish is meant for the sea. If you move an animal out of that specific place, well, the animal may die. Each animal in our animal kingdom, and each plant as well, is meant to live in the habitat where they are found. And now that you understand that animals have to live in the habitat they were built for, let's move on to the next video lesson. Come on!